Greetings out of Days and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom, where apparently I didn't record an episode of Kingdom yesterday, so I was gonna go ahead and record one today, which I kinda have to upload in like three hours-ish, but I could probably do it, but interesting thing is, the uh, the game got updated and I didn't even notice, and apparently added a few tiny new things. Specifically, this seems to be like, this small update seems to be heavily pushed for like a town square update, which is interesting, because as you can see here, there's a huge like town square harvest festival, which is like a giant beanstalk thing. There's also mint chocolate cookie having a magic candy, which looks pretty unique, so I do want to check that out at some point. But also, why I say it's heavily relevant to the town square is because if you go over here, you can see that there's also new icings of the Dark Cacao Kingdom, and there's also special icings just to create for anything for the My Cookie, which uh, we have a way to create special icings. I... Wasn't that always a feature? I don't know. I feel like what I should kind of focus on is just some of the stuff in regards to the town square, but I could probably just also do whatever this, whatever the heck this update just like shows to us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and claim all this stuff immediately. I've been doing, I haven't, I've not been doing my best in regards to like keeping up my my daily tasks in Kingdom for like the past day or two, and that's just primarily because ever since I got Wind Archer, I thought that was a proper way to like take a break, but uh. Considering this is Kingdom, like, good luck trying to find any opportunity to take a break for this game. But, uh, why don't we just do May random stuff around the Kingdom? The moonlight last Who's... Forever. Oh yeah, that's pretty vanilla. You, you, oh, I think I, I think I know what I might do. Uh, but anyway, there's, uh, bread upgrade. Uh, which I think I'm gonna crank this upgrade up again, cause, uh, usually, cause I realize this is, like, this is not just for making bread, this is for the whole bakery. Which is actually pretty important. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost this up again. It'll take over a day to do, but it's fine. Uh, but I will be trying to read comments from the video. The new Wind Archer Piercer of Darkness update is here. Where, uh, for this video, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, and feel free to do so. It could be a random question, or a random comment, or a random fact, something about me, something about- uh, <laughs> random, Did I just say a random fact? Plural. Uh, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. So, with that being said, uh, let's just go ahead and start this off with a few comments I see from A Gamer 360, which is actually only one, so I'm actually great at this plumbing comments section stuff. But you have a comment saying, uh, finally, Wind Archer's here, and I have nothing to say about that, yay. Instead, he's a just relic. a little fun. <laughs> Grab a shovel and dig. Actually, wait. So excited. Let's go to the town square just so it's a little bit more more non-cookie interrupting uh and also can't i do quests here maybe i don't know but anyway you're, the rest of the comment says while i was playing skylander swap force i finished the last four levels two normals and two bosses in nightmares mode for platinum i had series three trigger happy which is called big bang trigger happy which i had a bad habit of doing while playing games alone but when i took him my cookie run hyperfixation came decided to mix cherry's mythic variant in the wars her sister in the S series three trigger happy and said big bomb cherry blossom i want you to know halfway through that comment i completely did not understand what majority of that was but you know what i'm glad that you're having fun with the game and also the new update Anyway, we have a lot of rewards that we can collect here. Like, there's just a bunch of XP, which I definitely was not on my A-game in regards to, like, completing quests here. I just kind of did the uh, Cream Ferret story, which, by the way, I got Cream Ferret recently again, which is awesome. Uh, there's no new request yet, which is kind of unfortunate. you think there would be. Uh, I just, I let, can I get the quest done? I'm not, I'm not saying I don't want to talk to you. I'm just saying I have stuff to do. See, that one's 600,000. Unfortunately, there's still no new request, so that's fine. So, if I were to go over here, I just want to check. How much do I have? 5,000. Hmm. Should I try pulling for some of these? I feel like it would make sense just for in regards to the update. I just don't really have many. I I wish you could actually, like, you know, buy some in the, uh, you know, event. Can't you? You can't. Why, you know, why can't you buy any of the invention? I feel like that'd be, like, unique and cool. I don't know, but I'm actually going to buy one of these because, you know, it's always good to have one of these just so I can go ahead and buy some soul stones for later on. But, uh, yeah, I guess we can do some polls here because, you know, why not? I think it's better for the video. Uh, anyway, let's go do a draw five. Uh, apparently some people did say that there's actually a special animation that you can notice if you do get something special. And that's looking at the outfits through the window. Which, I'm pretty sure, I guess it is the similar styles to, like, the normal costume gotcha. Where, like, you can kind of see the costumes through the window and it can kind of tell you if you get something good or not. So, those costumes in the window apparently means I got something good. So, the ones that we got here, it's, uh, we got a refreshing aid hair dye, which, that does look pretty colorful. Uh, like, two shades of blue, yellow, orange, and pink. We got elongated blob, or, no, elongated bob. Elongated blob, that sounds like a terrifying hairstyle. Refreshing toilet paper roll. Is that toilet paper? Wait, really? Uh, white ballet flats and a strawberry bunny tee. Okay, the bunny tee is actually pretty adorable. But, 
you know, nothing too really complain worthy on like the first pull. I mean, I can really just pull for anything here. I guess I'm at least hoping for like one piece. I would really like the hat. That hat looks fashionable. The Chaka Gat. Or also this, uh, the 99% Cacao Sword. The sword was forged from Cacao of the highest purity. It was granted to Cookies who managed to pass a bitter examination and become a military officer. This item is only available for a limited time. So, all of these items must be available. So, I feel like the best things to get are the sword and the hat, if I'm being honest. But then again, that military attire looks so plumbing fresh. I'm not sure if there's going to be a chance that I get it, but if I do, that's going to be awesome. But, let's do another poll, but while the animation plays. So, wait, hold on. Is that a basic T? If it's that's a basic white t-shirt, that means that I got nothing special. Okay, but let's push it through some comments. There's a few from Lynn and Geo. There's one saying, "Common question of the day." I think Fire Spirit Kiki. I feel like Fire Spirit Kiki is the most anticipated one coming up next as a legendary. But also, he also left another comment saying, "The update is so awesome." I'm proud of that. I'm glad people are actually really excited about this update. Another comment whose name is in Jibber says, "Good luck on getting Wind Archer." Well, guess what? Guess who got Wind Archer recently, baby? <laughs> but there's actually a few comments from an idiot, which uh. Okay, nothing too exciting. Cottage core. The love is cottage core. Also, relaxed windswept hair. That's actually really nice. I like that. Uh, white sweater vest, strawberry bunny tee, and co more cottage core dye. I got two t of the same dyes in the same thing. Uh, but anyway, an idiot left a few comments with one saying, The fact that Wind Archer is this broken and he immediately got a costume feels like a spit to the face for Moonlight and Frost Queen. Moonlight because she's worse with Jam and Frost Queen's costume. Well, I mean, to be fair, you gotta realize that this is a big occasion, because you have to bear in mind that people are, they really, they really, really wanted Wind Archer kicking in the game. Like, ever since they were first, like, shown in the game, and they were, like, and, like anticipated to be joining next, of course, everyone's gonna, like, lose their mind to, like, obtain him, so obviously they gotta, like, treat him well. They made him really good in the game, and they also had to give him a costume to, like, recompensate with that. Okay, this is another basic one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, it Well, I mean, I like the shorts, but actually the sunglasses are pretty good. That's cool. Nothing really too noteworthy there, but anyway, more comments. Uh, another comment you left is at 1021, next Fire Spirit or Millennial Tree. I think those make sense, but it could be another Kingdom-specific one that doesn't make any sense. Like, hey, you got you got ones in Oven Break, like Black Sugar Swan, Xylitol Nova, and Timekeeper. And even uh, Abyssal Monarch, so there's those. And another comment you left is at six, uh, 1623, by Fan Art Friday. I mean, you just showcase them and comment on it. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing that, like, I need to really be... Oh, that's a fancy outfit, so that's gotta be good. Okay, I understand now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. See, here's the thing I really want to appreciate. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I need to do this because I haven't really used the Discord in a while. I think I'm going to put up, like, an official Fan Art page for the Discord. Because what I want to do is, I want to make it so that at some points, I show off these awesome pieces of fan art that I got. Because recently, I saw these amazing pieces of fan art, and I would love to show them off. I would basically put them on the screen, I would put whoever created them, I would put their at so you could show them all the love and support in the world. But I think the reason- Oh, we got the military acquire! Oh, cool, that's awesome! We also got a uh, gel up hair, a uh, white skirt, a uh, raggedy black tank top, autumn night hair dye, which that looks nice, and dark cacao military attire. So we got the military time. Nice. We got a nice dress. Okay, but the thing is, I love to show this art, but I hate, I never want to show art without permission because I've heard that there were some people who showed art without permission and usually they, that would result in their video getting taken down. And I don't want to go ahead and do that, at least without like not crediting the work. That's the biggest thing that I'm scared of. If I'm being honest. So, I think I'm going to make that official. I'll probably work on that later today because I really want to get that done because that sounds like an amazing treat, but no worries. We'll get that. We'll get that done soon. So, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and just read some more comments because there's a few more. Then we'll read probably a comment question of the day after we do like one more poll here. Uh, yeah, and we got another special one. Okay, cool. But anyway, Cat and Chris left a comment saying, "I got the new legendary costume first try. I am jealous because that costume looks pretty cool." And also, Sonic Gamer left a kind of a long comment saying, "Without spoiling anything, the story for this update is actually pretty short. You could finish it in one sitting if you're not reading comments. But knowing you, you're definitely gonna be reading comments when you play around to that story." Yeah, I mean, that's kind of just a staple for some of these videos, unless if it's like the videos where it's like, oh, this is just a cookie showcase overview. But, uh, it, I guess you could say it was a short story, but to be fair on how I spaced it out, I kind of expected how the last cutscenes were going to be a lot longer than the other ones. But, I still think it all, it all worked out well. Like, three videos, I, even two videos would have been solid, but, hey, whatever. Uh, we got a fuzzy friend hair dye. I feel like that's in reference to cream ferret because of the uh, color tint, if I'm being honest. Raggedy white tank top and honeyed fig hair dye, which only colors one thing. Uh, white ballet flats and spinach green sneakers. 
Okay, and by the way, there's actually two types of different outfits. One for, like, the female and one for the males, because there's also the dark account attire, I'm assuming, because I guess it could actually be worn by anyone, but it just shows, uh, I think that's a male cookie over there and the female cookie on the right, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, I should read a comment question of the day, but, uh, before I do that, I will read this kind of long comment from Draco, which is actually kind of long, but I'll kind of summarize it, saying, Let's go, Windarcher. He's finally getting the respect he deserves in Kingdom. Can't stop thinking about him. And also for the comment question, unless if they make an original Poison or Light Elemental, I would definitely say Fire Spirit coming next to Kingdom would be, uh, the best, uh, since the Elementals need to get the word out about the Beast Cookies, and Millennial Tree would be the final Elemental in Kingdom. But great video as always. I can make sense. That's understandable. If not Fire Spirit, the Millennial Tree would make sense. But also, I do gotta admit, it would be cool to have like some legendaries based off like, you know, the elements. Like, you know, they have one, you know, for Stormbringer, there's one based off electricity. And, you know, they should there should be one based off like maybe a ground element or like the poison element. I don't know, it would be pretty unique. But whatever the, whatever the case is, for a common question of the day, I'm already gonna ask something pretty unique to what I'm doing here. If you had to add a custom costume set, and not, I don't mean like an actual costume for in regards to cookies, but I mean like a costume set in regards to like these cool little outfits that you would add here, what would you add? Because it can't just be like, oh, I want to add a hairstyle. No, you got to think of like a whole set. You got to think of like what would be a good theme that you could match a set around. Like you got to think like a nice hat or hairstyle. You got to think a cool item to like wear in your hands. A nice pair of shoes. <coughs> oh, throat, hello. A uh, nice pair of like pants or clothes, like shirts or jackets in general. Because I think that'd be unique. Because if I'm being honest, I think it would be nice considering that there's a dark cow kicky one. I would love for there to be, like, this golden cheese, like, Egyptian type set where it has all these, like, pharaoh, like, cloves. It has all these, like, cheese-esque, like, masks. And you could be holding, like, a glass of, like, cheese. <laughs> like, it's just a whole glass of melted cheese. But you know for a fact they would drink it. Or, like, grape juice in, like, a fancy bottle. Like, stuff like that. I think that would be really, really cool. And you can have, like, a hat that's actually similar to the one that golden cheese wears. Like, oh, <clears throat> just thinking about that would be really awesome. And, heck, it could just be a block of cheese, for that matter. Why the club not? Uh, but let's go ahead and do some more, because why not? Oh, we get another fancy one. It could be good. I mean, here's hoping. Yes, it is. I wonder if it shows multiple, if you get, like, you know, plumbing. If it, like, because it just showed one there. I wonder if it would show, like, two if you had them stacked, because that would be very, very... That would be so rare if you get all five of them stacked. But anyway. Woo! Wait, Mo Mona Love Lily left a comment saying, I got 800,000 crystals because of this update. You gotta be capping. There's no way you just got that rich. Well, the plug of my crystals then. Uh, but your other comment says, Common question, I'll be happy to see Sugar Swan as the next playable legendary, unless they want to upgrade her ancient or something else. Oh, wait, her ancient? What do you mean? She's not an ancient, she's a legendary. What does Evan Break tell you? Oh, we got, oh, we got earrings. We got, uh, Chaco de Sick earrings. Okay. And also, we got a paddle brush. Perfect, and also a styled short hair, nice and scraggly, blueberry blue sneakers, and pure white headbands. I could probably take some of these items and just like, you know, break break them down or something like that, right? But uh, yeah, because I got a couple of duplicates of some, so I could probably break some of these down, because who really cares if I have multiple of like one or the other? Like, bam, it's not like I can like save up multiple sets, can I? I don't think I can, from my knowledge, so let's just grind out some of these. There we go, we got 90 of those things, so we can actually weave stuff into making cool things. I don't know, but Mark Hoyt also left the comment saying, To answer the question, I would have to say Xylotal Nova, Timekeeper, Sugar Swan, and Long and Dragon. That's a lot of legendary- Could you imagine if they just added all those into one update? That would be such a big middle finger, it's like, Hey, you wanna upgrade some legends? Here's every single one at once. Good luck trying to upgrade two. Like, you, you could probably get away with like upgrading one, but two? That's like where we draw the line, okay. Uh, I do want to do some other things, but, like, right now I feel like pulling costumes is kind of, like, the chill thing to do, because, you know, eh, why not? It's, uh, it's been a while since we've done stuff in regards to the town square anyway, so why not give it a check out since they give it an update? And, of course, I know what I'm going to be doing for the next video, anywho, but, uh... Yeah, now that I mentioned the plumbing fan art thing, I'm actually excited to do that because that would make, you know, better interaction, better in, uh, community. So, so, cause I want to make this a fair thing to mind, just a fair thing to mention. When I make that Discord server, like, well, it's not a server, but, like, it's actually a channel on the Discord server. What I'm going to be doing is, it once you post a piece of art in there, like, Hyperheims, you know, Yellow Pleb, Hype Cookie, anything like that. When you post art like that in there, then, basically, you've already confirmed that you want it to be shown off. Because I am absolutely going to show that off, because it is such a magnificent piece of art. So, be sure to do so, because I have... 
You, uh, by the way, oh, these hats look cool. Rebellious Mintberry and Rebellious Mustard. I feel like Mintberry actually looks cool for like a nightlight-esque vibe, but both look cool. But festive coconut shorts and also a white dookie on a sticky. Well, am I collecting bird crap now? Like, what am I doing? Uh, but I would like to get the sword, but uh, I don't think I'm really going to have much more opportunity to do pulls here. Uh, which I probably shouldn't even pull much more here, only just because, like, I feel like I should waste into Like, I should not waste more until, like, I get more or something like that. And, uh, because there's no real other ways that you can get more other, other than this. Which, just to uh, have a normal video of this, it would take me $21. I'm not even joking. But, whatever. Just to do one pull, it would take me three bucks. Uh, but yeah, there's this. And I also forgot I gotta do my thing down here, where if I can find it, free thing. Bam. Alright, so... I think I'll just stop there. I don't know if there's anything else I can kind of do. Maybe I can just do some cheeky quest or something. Uh, right here. What? Oh, yeah. Can't I do things right here? Oh, yeah. I can I can weave for stuff. Yeah, I forgot. There was this thing that I can go weave. Uh, I do have a few things. I guess I could. Not many. Maybe I could try the shoes. The whisk? Oh, wait. This? I'm sorry. I, don't, I still don't have a good understanding of how this uh, weaving stuff works. Icing. I'm Okay. The pants. Uh, and add this. Uh, so should, I, should I just throw them all in there and make it like 200? 200? Super success is now a 60% chance. Or I could crank. Hmm. So I could make it. So it could be any leg warmer shoe. It could be anything. Actually, if I swap this in there. So it has a chance to be a telephone, a can. Wait, that That's it? I feel, I feel like I had a better chance of doing like the shoes or something like that. How about the hat? Oh, well, both of those are good. Honestly, I wouldn't mind either one of those. What, uh, pant? Hmm. Both? I might try for the hats. I guess we'll go ahead and weave it. Uh, we got a white sailor beret. Oh my god, it's because I didn't get a super success. I don't, I, I think, I think that's what it means. I think I wasted one, which I know. Wait, how much do I have? 370. So now it's a 70% uh, chance. Plub it. I got the red zesty heart goggles. That actually that's actually the one that I wanted. Alright. So I should probably probably stop meddling with this now and probably just dedicate to like some stuff like reading comments. By the way, there's a key right here. There's a Oh, there's a hint thing. Uh something with a two. Alright, chat, give me the spoilers. What do we got? 1082. Got it. So legit. Uh 1082. Oh, what? Oh, 1802. Oh, Never mind. Okay. One. Eight oh two. All right, easy. Okay, we're completely fine in this regard. All right, I was gonna do some more things, but I kind of got sidetracked by just the abundance amount of costumes and like things that they added. But yeah, whatever. I guess I kind of had to focus on that at some point. And there's also other quests that I can do here, right? Uh, yeah. So maybe we can dedicate some of those to like uh, sometime whenever I do a side video on this in the future. I don't know, but the only thing I can focus on now is just the rest of the comments I see on the video because there's still a bit more. Uh, for example, there's one from Arian Funhouse saying Wind Archers finally became the first male legendary to become in Cookie Run Kingdom. Also, a common question: I wish Millennial Tree Cookie would come to Cookie Run Kingdom next. I imagine him being a healer or support. That probably would make more sense, you know, healing a support as a cookie or as, as a plumbing tree cookie being, you know, the you know the tree of life and all that stuff. It makes sense. And another comment from Mr. Yellow Balloon says, Oh gosh, how can I explain? this after five months of bad luck i get those faithful cutters and get plumbing mystic flower all i can say is it'll take me a lot of cash to get wind archer oh honestly you can get wind archer for free as long as you dedicate yourself to doing the missions complete the story uh log in daily just to get your daily gifts and also there's one more thing which i think uh it was pull a hundred times i think so literally you could just do that for a hundred percent free because even i didn't need to spend money to get wind archer which is amazing uh, but anyway, uh, Del Delta Max Gmod says, uh, one minute, dang, I'm early. Don't worry, there's a lot of early birds here. Uh, but also, Good Ultra left a comment saying, question for you, Hyperheims. I'm not sure if someone else asked the Rari, but I'm curious to know, if Hypekiki was a playable character in the actual story of Kikiran Kingdom, what would your rarity, skill, class, and placement be, and what would your skill be called? As an example of why I'm asking, epic support Kiki in the middle of the team would, uh, be skill that buffs the team with an attack and defense up. Additionally, if you were to inflict other statuses unique to Kiki, like how Terror the Abyss was exclusive to Black Pearl Kiki, what would it be called? Uh, okay. That's, that's, honestly... That might be an interesting thing because here's the thing. I don't think I can ask that and answer that in one video. I don't know why I said ask. I don't think I can answer that in one video. I think that would take a whole nother video to actually, at the very least, a short. I think if I'm willing to, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a short about that because that'd, that'd actually be a fun uh, thing to do, honestly. 
Like, if I'm being honest, like, what if my, what if my Cookie Run OC was in Cookie Run Kingdom? Like, honestly, that sounds fun. Thank you for giving me the idea. Yo, know, I'm, I'm gonna be sure to screen nab that. And I'm gonna like show that at the start of the video because that's gonna be a really fun like short to make So I'm gonna answer that in a separate video But for now, I think I'm gonna end the video right here because like we've kind of did all I want to do here uh, Later on I will see if I can work on getting mint chocolate cookies magic candy and work on all that stuff So with that being said if you enjoy the video then please be sure to leave a like on it And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content And if you enjoy my content in general then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future And also down below in the description you'll see links to all my social media which includes a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes I'm gonna kick around YouTube staff for absolutely free there's a link to my discord server called the hype Me's hub a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel and lastly a link to my kofi where for just one dollar a month you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal youtube channel man look at my look at my boy right there look at how <laughs> look at this weird outfit he's got but it's so stylish but above all else i will see you into these and guardians in the next video hail the hype Me's.